Hi everyone, Sarah here. Um, I just wanted to show you some of my stuff that showed up in the mail today. Woohoo! Um, I am on a freeze for April and I have not spent any money. Um, but these are items that I had purchased in, um, well, not all of these. <laughs> Um, some of the stuff I'm going to show you I purchased in March. I did buy this in April, but I do not consider this a scrapbook supply. Yes, I will be printing pictures for my scrapbooking, but this is not a supply. It's not paper. It's not stamps. It's, uh, it's different. So, um, I have been wanting one of these, um, for a bit. This is a Canon selfie. Um, this is the CP910, so this is the newest version, um, which you can work on Wi-Fi or you can print pictures directly from your phone. So it works with iPhone, iPad, iPod, anything like that, which is what I wanted because um, I don't have a lot of space. So as you can see, this is beautifully small. Like, is that not crazy? Um, is so tiny. Um, I got it at staples.ca. So staples is our version of Office Depot for Canada. Um, and basically this is the printer and then this opens up and this tray goes in. I believe like this. I'll have to figure it out but this is the tray for the paper so that's it. It does hook up to my computer, but it also is easy enough for me to just print pictures that I've taken with my phone, hence the name Selfie. So I'm so excited because I will be able to do so much more scrapbooking. I really don't do a lot right now, but this I can like be spontaneous and just print something off and do it. So I have wanted it for a while and I decided to go ahead and get it. So that I just ordered actually yesterday and it showed up today. Awesome. And I did get some film because you have to buy the um, film and paper, like the ink and the paper, to go together. Um, and this is 108, 108 pictures and it was $43. So it works out to be about $0.45 cents a print, which is more expensive than going to Costco or Walmart. But for being able to do it whenever you want to, I think it's awesome. So the other things that actually showed up the other day was I had put in an order at Simon Says Stamp. So this was in March. I ordered this one, which is called Monster Hugs. And this is from Valentine's Day and I've been wanting it since then. So I finally got it and I got the matching dies to go with it. So this is going to be my first stamp set and matching dies. Yes, I'm bad. And then from Simon Says Stamp, I wanted to get some inks to try out. So I use um, Memento Black Ink for, for coloring with Copics. And I'm sure most of you know, with clear stamps, Memento Black Ink does not always do a great job. Um, I love Versamark so much better with clear stamps, but Versamark does not work with Copics. So I got the My Favorite Things Hybrid Ink Pad. And this is in um, black licorice and I've already stamped it out I used one of these cute little guys here I stamped it out and colored it and I love it it was fast drying um, I think it turned out perfectly and I didn't get any bleeding or anything so that's just my little guy and I stamped out some of the um, crumpled up papers. It's just a card I was working on last night. So perfect. Love it for clear stamps. And I had also decided I was going to go ahead and get the craft. So this is craft hybrid ink and I did stamp it out. I didn't do anything with it yet. But this, I was thinking, I've never done no line coloring, and I know that's still kind of dark, but I think it would uh, it would work. So I picked up that, and then I've seen a lot of people using this, the My Favorite Things Pigment Ink Sweet Tooth um, for white stamping, and I have a really old Stampin' Up! Craft White that um, I would use. 
so I wanted to try this and this isn't a great it's one of these little Studio G stamps so it's probably not a great stamp to use but there it is on two different types of paper so I think that worked out pretty well so that'll come in handy for some future projects and then today when my selfie showed up um, my order from my favorite things also showed up and this is the super cute and adorable I Need You, which is the kitty cats. And then um, You Make My Tail Wag, which is the puppy dogs. I couldn't resist. So that is it. You can see I have some little superheroes that I've colored. Um, I have a lot of stuff that hasn't been put together yet. Oh, and I do have uh, a pocket letter that showed up. I haven't even opened it yet. Yay, happy mail! This is from my friend Nola Harris, and I met uh, Nola on, um, I think it was my scrapperoom.ning. It was quite a while ago. And um, we've been talking ever since then. And she's finally been able to start crafting again. They were in the process of building and moving, so it's not totally done, but she's she's crafting again. So she wanted to send me a pocket letter, which looks so adorable. Look at this. I don't know if it was supposed to be stuck there, but that is a super cute die that says hello and wish you were here. And look at these cameras. They are gorgeous. Okay. Alright, so she sent me something outside of the pocket. It says, I know this should be in the pocket, but it was so cute. So, I don't want everything to fall out. I love that paper. So she's got a little three-dimensional pear, and this is Say Cheese. And it's all the same paper, which is awesome. And then on the back, there is... Oh my goodness, a tiny little envelope. Nola, how did you do that? <laughs> Look at this tiny little envelope. And this tiny little card. So super cute. That is adorable. I love that tiny, tiny little letter. And then I think these are sticky notes which is so cool. Yeah. Don't forget this. Those are awesome. I have a sticky note addiction, so comes in handy. And then there's this. I think this might be a printout paper. And then there's some more cutouts and this is a little notepad go into it from behind now. Look at this little tiny notepad. That is stinking adorable. Where did you get that? And there's some little die cuts in there. I'll put it up there for now. And then there's some buttons and tags. Some more tags. And she sent me a joglet. I love these. So yummy. Ugh. Make a mess of this. And then some cutouts and some um, pearls, whatever they're called. <laughs> Losing my mind. <laughs> and she also sent me this um, paper. No, oh, it's a double side. She put the two sides together to make this look hard. Very pretty. Thank you so much, Nola. This is so sweet. I'm terrible at unpocketing pocket letters. I make such a mess. Okay, so I'm gonna open this now. Looks like she made her own envelope here. Oh, she put the letter on a little card. It's a little purse card. That is so cute and it's all, it's all uh, velvet and glitter. And it has her picker, er, her picture, her letter. So I'm gonna read that off camera. Thank you so much, Nola. Um, and I just wanted to say to everybody, I've noticed my subscribers are jumping again and again. So I will have a um, 
a giveaway coming up as super soon as possible. All right, so leave a comment, subscribe if you wish, and have a great day. Thanks, bye.